Two teens are accused of trying to rob a woman in her 60s at gunpoint. This happened at Kenway Road in Green Hills. Now, some are hoping the incident will lead to more outreach among young people here in the city. News 4's Forrest Sanders has our story. It was in this Green Hills neighborhood, Kenway Road, the Metro Police say a 62-year-old woman arrived home. Two people came up, demanded money, and ordered her into her home at gunpoint. Police say the woman managed to shove one of them out of her home, and the two demanding money ran away. After looking over surveillance video in the neighborhood, police arrested Troy Cole and Kristen Collins. They were only 16 and 15 years old. When we hear a story like this, our first reaction is these things are preventable. If they don't have these positive influences or they're not succeeding, then they lose all hope and they are more likely to get involved in crimes. Jennifer Wheeler Berman's with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Middle Tennessee. She says when a young person comes in, the club's work is to understand that specific child. What adverse childhood experiences have they had? A parent who's perhaps incarcerated is seeing violence in their neighborhoods or their homes. From there, it's finding goals and passions. Many of our youth just don't even know to dream big. They've not been exposed to that. For Nashville to hear fewer stories like what just happened in Green Hills, Jennifer says it takes positive adult mentors who can show young people the steps toward making money in a career. They just need to understand that there is a path forward where they can have a great future. In Green Hills, I'm Boris Sanders, News 4.